So last night my live stream quit again. Technical problems, bandwidth in Vegas, who knows? But I listened to what my wife said, which is when life gives you lemons, throw the lemons back so hard that it knocks life senseless and then make a YouTube video. Actually, she told me, go film something really cool if you're out there anyway. So I'm filming the Mirage Volcano for you, the full show. How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven and I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for future notifications, if you will. The only camera I had this time is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So let's see how this looks. I think I filmed it in 4K, 60 frames per second, HDR, high dynamic range. So watching on a newer TV or a $6,000 computer monitor. Let's go, guys. You'll like this one, I guess. So yeah, it's the Mirage Volcano. It's fantastic. It's been around since 1988 when the Mirage opened. Steve Wynn has a water thing. He's obsessed with it. Built the Bellagio, built the Wynn. All of it has water. This was no different. The volcano was the first time that anybody put anything massive for free in front of a casino. The idea was to, as a draw, bring you in. Oh, by the way, there's some uh, white albino tigers inside. St. Fried Roy has a royal, uh, it's a show. Come on in, check it out. The show underwent a massive renovation. It's kind of like these masks I'm wearing. You should check them out, VegasFaceMask.com. Ever changing, my wife makes them two for 25, the best masks you'll ever wear. I was actually masked up in front of the show. But the big renovation that the masks and the fountains went through, the fountains were done by one of the uh, main members of the Grateful Dead a couple of years ago, maybe a decade. Gosh, coronavirus plus time, right? He actually went around the world, he's a percussionist, listened to volcanoes. Can't remember his name, I'll put it on the screen below me. But he went out around the world, listened to volcanoes in Hawaii, all over the place, and did the percussion you're gonna hear in this show. If you go near the show, it can smell like pina coladas. That's the mask, the smell of gas. But it's definitely something to check out while you're in town. It goes on at uh, eight, nine, 10, and 11 o'clock, I believe every night. And it's, it's worth it. Now this is gonna build up. The first two minutes of you watching this, gonna be kind of boring for you, but I hope you would stick through to the end. There won't be an outro with me, so I will tell you again, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and tell us about the Bellagio Fountains. What do you like about it the best? Or not the Bellagio Fountains, the... Take two, the Mirage Volcano. I'm always at the fountains. Do you like the show? Do you come to Vegas and see it? Or is it kind of the same thing every time? Because it does not change. It's the same show, run it through over and over and over again. So, without further ado, thanks for supporting the channel. If you guys want to order a mask, VegasFaceMask.com. Here is the Bellagio, I almost said it again, the Mirage Volcano. How, how completely unprofessional. But anyways, the Mirage Volcano in three, two, one. Thanks for watching, stick through to the end. This builds, it's worth it, two minutes of nothing. It's a crescendo, just watch the whole thing. Action.